Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. It is Monday, November 18th. I haven't been putting anything up for a while because I've been trying to get everything done before deer season starts this coming Saturday. So, I figured I'd take you on a little tour and see what I accomplished anyway. All right, as you can see, I got some more dirt. They call it pit run here. This looks like it's a little better stuff than the stuff I got last time. The rocks don't look as big in it. So I'm going to try spreading some of that yet this week. But I think it might be all froze. All I can do is try. If it's froze, well, I'll have to wait till spring. That's all there is to it. Here is my lawn rake. Unfortunately, it's got to sit outside for the winter because I have no place to put it right now. But it should be okay. The paint on is pretty decent. All right, let's move over here. This is my sugar shack. Unfortunately, I still have to have a tarps on it because I don't have time this year to put permanent walls on it. But Take you inside here a little bit and show you around. Underneath this tarp here is my maple sugar stove or concentrating stove for boiling the sap down. Leave it in here, leave it covered for the winter. It's out of my way and it's not going to hurt anything. I'm storing my removable forks in here for the winter. But as you can see, I've got two full totes of wood, plus a bunch of wood piled on top. That should get me through maple syrup time. But then if it doesn't, I've got two more totes out here. Let's see if we can back up a little bit so you can see better. All right, I got two more totes out here. And then I buy a bunch of wood piled in between. That's the extent of what I had all split. And then uh, out here in the woods, I haven't done a lot. I just haven't had the time, but I did manage to get out here and open up this trail so I could get at the totes because they were they were stored back here. We'll uh, go back here and show you. As you can see, I got a lot of wood down yet, but that's going to have to wait till spring. I can't, I can't be taking the time now to do it. <coughs> it's always been, it's been a big rush for me because I'm trying to get everything done before it snows heavy, and I have to start plowing. So this is a bunch of my extra skids out here and. But as you can see, I got this trail open back up on this side. The back trail, the one that's closer to the road, I haven't even started on yet. This is uh, this is the three-point boom that was flattened by the tree when it went down. And it's just a little bit, I don't know if you can even see it here. It's just a little bit of curvature in it yet. But I took it up to the welder up in Wabino. He did a nice job. And then I just repainted it. It used to be red and I painted it green. Closer to my John Deere green. But that's back in business again. That's usable. But as you can see back here, this trail is just a total mess yet. There's no way I could get through here right now. I, if I get lucky and get my deer early, or both of them, because I have a doe tag this year, if I should happen to get both deer, a doe and a buck, and it still hasn't snowed too much, then I'll come back here and I'll cut some of this up. See if I can get this off the trail. Finishing it up and cleaning it up, that's going to have to wait till spring because I, can, I don't have the time to do that now, but I'd like to get the trail open if nothing else. Because come maple syrup time, I want to be tapping. I don't want to be working on, on this stuff anymore than I have to. So, 
Okay, we'll come around the trail on this side. This is the logs I have piled right now that need to be cut up in the rounds. There's a lot of lumber right there. For me, it's going to be firewood, but I left it in logs because I figure it would rot less. If I did that, if I cut it into rounds, then I would have to worry about it rotting. They're up on 4x4, so they shouldn't have too much ground contact. So it's got this big one here. And then this smaller pile here. All of this is maple or popple. There might be a couple of cherry in there, but not too much. And this is the rounds that I had cut that I had no choice, but I had to just pile them out here. There's nothing else I could do with them right now. So I'm gonna lose some of that to rot, but that's just the way of the brakes, I guess. But that's what I've accomplished since I've been on the last time. The last time I was on, I told you about moving the sugar shack. Well, the sugar shack's ready to go now. So, this is just a little update to let you know where I am and how to do a lot of rearranging in the garages and lean tos and everything to get everything stored for winter and get it ready for winter. I've got my snow blower on the tractor but I use the plow mostly but there's certain times it's nice to have that little snow blower. We'll show you that in just a sec. This is my lawn tractor that I've got a cab for it. The John Deere cab that I converted to work on my Husqvarna. And I got the chains on it and the weight on the back. And then the snow blower on the front. And the snow blower I can operate from in the cab, both rotating and, and tipping the, the chute on it. I've got that, I built that a few years ago, put some motors on it so I didn't have to get off the tractor or have uh, rods and stuff that would always freeze up and give me pain. So we put motors on them and we run them from inside the cab now. Also the lift on it is <coughs> connected to my winch in the front. Let's see if I can get around here to show you that. Yeah, I have a winch on the front of my tractor and that's what I use for lifting the, the snow blower up and down. Again, everything from the cab. So that's just a little update of where we are. As you can see now, my fishing boat is all piled full of my pails and stuff for maple syrup. That's where they'll sit for the winter now because I don't have any other room. But that's a, it's a nice little cab. Keeps me out of the weather. Like I said, I don't use it that often because I use the big plow on the, on the John Deere mostly, but... So then we'll... There's my John Deere. My toy, as my wife calls it. She always says, you gonna play on your toy today? And then back there, I don't know if you can see it, that white barrel, that's my sap collection barrel. Again, that's got a pump on it so I can pump it in. But that's the way we got to store things for the winter now. Here's my, pl here's my bigger plow that goes on the tractor. I just wanted to update you a little bit and let you know what was happening. And So we'll sign off. Hopefully I'll get a few videos of out in the deer woods. We're going to have to see how that goes. So if you like the videos, please hit the like. Share them with your friends. 
If you aren't subscribed already, I'd appreciate you subscribing to it. And if you want to be notified of future videos, hit that little bell icon. And then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. All right, for now, I'm going to sign off. Go have some lunch. And then see if I can use the John Deere to move some dirt. Bye now.